Okay, we got the glass cleaned on this smoker. The smoker's all ready to go and it's fired up. Now we're gonna get this ham ready and we're not doing a thing to it. This is a whole ham. It is not a spiral ham. And what we're gonna do, we're just, no seasonings. We're just gonna smoke it. Now the first hour and a half, now this is a bone-in ham. The first hour and a half, we're gonna start out at about 200 degrees. We wanna get that smoke going in there really good. And then we'll start bumping it up. It's gonna take about three and a half, four hours to do this ham. I have a drip pan just above my water pan to help catch these drippings. And we're about 30 minutes in here. Here we're about two hours and it's really looking good. And I turned it on up to 300 degrees. Now here I'm going to make the glaze for the ham. This is a cup of my homemade peach jam, a quarter cup of water, a half a stick of butter, um, I believe about a quarter cup of uh, brown sugar. That was a whole clove that was in there. I meant to have the ground clove and I just got that whole clove back out of there. About a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves and about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we'll start mixing it up. And I realized when I was telling you earlier I hadn't put the brown sugar in, but we add it now. So it's a quarter cup of brown sugar. Get it to mixing around here, getting it to simmer. And we have to break out the whisk and really get it incorporated together in there while it's heating up and coming to a simmer. And oh, I tell you what, this tasted great. It had that, it was just that holiday taste with that cinnamon and cloves and the peach uh, jam. Oh, it was delicious. Okay, I believe it's time to get it out there so we can uh, start uh, putting that glaze on that ham. We got about 310 degrees. Oh, look at that ham, boy, it looks good. Looks like we got about 156 degrees internal. The backside is a little bit cooler. We're basting this with that glaze and uh, we're just letting it run all over and mopping it where we can get it. Now I've got a drip pan under the ham. I've got a little bit of water in it to kind of help uh, keep them juices and stuff from burning. Uh, and then under that, I have my regular water pan, which I do keep full. I mean, I'm a firm believer in keeping the water pan full. Now we mop this glaze on a few times. Uh, we're shutting the door and now it's going to come back. We're doing it again. So about every 15, 20 minutes we'd uh, mop this glaze on. It really turned out delicious. It, it, just an amazing taste there. Uh, but uh, we soak it pretty good as we're mopping it on. And I didn't put any seasonings on this ham. I wanted a good smoke flavor. And I didn't want any seasonings hiding that because this ham was already smoky by at the store, most of them are. And uh, so we're basically double smoking it. But we didn't want to put any seasonings to hide any more richer smoke. We like the way it turned out. Well, I was gonna wait to do the turkey uh, the next morning. But I decided, I thought, I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. So, we prepared it, here we go. Now, I could have done the ham and the turkey together, uh, and I have before, but uh, 
I just decided to go ahead. I was going to wait on the turkey, like I said, but uh, we went ahead. Take this off of the legs so they can be out and uh, cut that little bit of fat off. And, and I, all I do is I add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to it with olive oil. Now I salt it right now, just kind of as I'm getting ready and stuff, let that salt set on there a little bit. Kind of draw up that skin, I guess. Almost a little backwards in it. Now I put my olive oil on it. I'll rub it down. Uh, and then we'll add the black pepper. Now, we'll rub this down. And, and again, I'm just trying to get a good smoke. I don't want a lot of seasonings uh, on it to uh, cover up any smoke flavor. So, uh, but now I was going to inject it with some buttery sauce and I just totally forgot about it. Uh, but it turned out really good and juicy. Now we put some of that uh, fresh cracked pepper on there, grinder, getting it all over it. And, uh, oh, it, it uh, I love the smell of fresh ground pepper. you to look at that ham. It looks awesome. I tell you what, I think it's time to get it off of here and let's get that turkey out here. Put it in that smoker. Like I said, I could have done them both at the same time, but I really wasn't going to do the turkey, but decided to go ahead. I want you to look at that ham. It looks fantastic. It really turned out really good. Now that clay's on there. Tell you what, I want to do another one of these. All I can say is delicious, mighty larapin. Well, it's time to get that turkey out there now. Let's get it in that smoker and let it start absorbing that smoke flavor. Get it slid off in there and we've still got the drip pan under it using the same drip pan. Uh, add, I added water to the uh, lower water pan and Everything's ready to go. Let's smoke it up. Now I start out at a low temperature at first, get that smoke going. And after a couple of hours or so, I kick it up to 300 and then 350. I think a total cook time on this turkey was about four and a half hours. And we kicked it up to 300 and it don't show it, but we do go up to 350. Now, I want you to look at that turkey. That looks awesome. Well, there it is. I tell you what, it looks good. Turkey turned out really good. It was juicy, moist. Oh, it was delicious. And the ham was delicious and moist and juicy. No seasonings on the ham at all except for the glaze and the turkey, a little bit of salt, olive oil, and pepper, and then smoked. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing. I want to thank each and every one for watching.